Okay, so this is this is the heart. I am right behind you. So I'm just gonna kind of look around. There's got to be a teleporter in this area. There can't not be one, right? Yeah, the Dome City sounds interesting. I don't know who it belongs to. It might be the Albs themselves. Okay, well let's let's check this out. I'm in I'm in hundred percent adventure mode for at least a little while. Uh, there's oh oh never mind. There we go. Oh, it was a rat. Oh, but there's a status report. I kind of wish I could press a button and actually just straight up read it. As opposed to having to go into my inventory to pull it up. I've been playing Last of Us and it has this, uh... uh I'd say it's a nice feature, but honestly every game should probably have it. Just like, you found a thing. Um... Do you want to read it? And the answer is yes. Incident I-502. I hereby declare that we took all all standard precautionary measures as per regulations. We're not informed of the test flight. The drone was detected and intercepted. The drone took the first hostile action and downed one of the reconnaissance fighters. It was then that the second fighter engaged and returned fire. There are no mistakes on the part of my pilots or crew. Our actions are noted as proper and complete. I have warned about automating our defenses and would like my objections to be formally noted. Alright, status report. The World Heart is far too heavily protected to attack. We'll just have to suffer its presence on the border until they let their guard slip. The other reports are also true. The converter in the valley has been completely shut down. We will return in a few days to assess the situation. There's a lot that must be done. Wait, that was a cleric's report. Okay. Well, there's stuff in here. I've got a safe. Okay. Well, let's hack it. Just because. So let's just do two, five. I must remember these ruins. I would like to return to them someday. Two, four, seven, eight. Sure. That didn't work. Oh. Two, four, four, fine. Any of the other ones want to work here? I mean, as you can see, I'm plainly clicking on them. I don't have to pull up my controller just to be able to click on some of these. Okay. Three, five. I, is this a bug or am I doing something wrong? Okay, uh, three, two, four, seven. Sure. Well... So we have three, two, and seven. So let's do seven, three, two, two, five, two. Well, that was easy. Because then it's just seven, three, eight, two. I'm in. All right, cool. Yeah, I might just be doing that wrong. I don't know. Hard time telling. Isopause. Durable little sucker. Usable first aid kit. Discarded message. Alright, let's check that out. If I can. Where are you? We looked everywhere for you and found nothing. You were there and then gone in the middle of the night. If you come back and don't look for us, we return to the city and we'll see you there. Rightio. I don't know. I, I'm i still like kind of this weird split mind about the uh, 
about the clerics, because on one hand, they're clearly, like, sort of evil. Initiating combat. <sighs> they're clearly, uh, maybe a little bit too fanatical. But the berserkers yell at me for everything, which I don't really appreciate. You know what? Can I... No. Oh, I, I got it. I had an explosive container. That hurt a bit. Yeah, we have a bunch of dead clerics here. Interesting. I'm just glad I was able to take them out. Oh, oh can I... Oh, no, no, no. I'll, I'll pick up the, the burning magnesium torch, which is less than useful. I should probably take them off, by, off my bar. Okay, still no flat... Uh, not flashlight. Still no, uh, warp point. I was hoping I could find, like, a sleeping bag. If we wait till... If we wait till nighttime, I may, might be able to see. Well, let's check this building out. I don't think we've checked this one yet. We are sorry. This decision was not easy. When you hear this message, we will already be long gone. Kalan is the better solution, even if you see it differently. Go south if you think it's safer there. Follow us if you want a future. We survived the downfall, but there is no life here if you have to fear being attacked by mutants or lawless reavers. There are rumors of a city in the south, but this whole world is full of rumors. Yeah, I can just kill most of these guys. Admittedly, maybe not the uh, the most effective, but that's okay. Just got a fair amount left. Okay. I'm trying to decide. I was really hoping there would be some means of warping around here. But, to be totally honest, I'm not, not seeing a darn thing. Because, yeah, if I could come back here semi-freely... That would make my life a lot easier. But yeah, I guess I guess the uh, the berserkers wouldn't wouldn't have like a teleporter in their midst. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, let's go take a look at that domed city. Seeing as we're we're there. I'm attacking. I. Thanks. I'm attacking. All he has to say. All right, yeah, let's, let's keep running up here. I I, I want to go take a look at it. It's probably filled with clerics, though. Not clerics. It's probably filled with, uh... With Alb. But it could be the Alb Separatists. Wow. That was a cool roll. It almost feels like jumping is the, uh, the best way to f fight these guys. There we go. These mass rats were actually, uh, <laughs> kind of hard to kill. That's okay. Where's the other one? Was it over here? What? Uh, yes. This is the first one I killed. And we do have a sleeping bag. Can I use it? Yes, I can. Okay, that is helpful. Let's loot everything, or not. Okay. Yeah, let's sleep until midnight. It is going to be ridiculously dark, but I might be able to actually see what I'm doing then. Okay, it's not it's not as ridiculously dark as I thought it was going to be. That's good. Nothing here. We've got that hut looking thing. Which might actually be it. I saw something blue in there. 
No, it's people. Commander Jax, I was wondering if I would see you again. You've stopped taking Elix. You look... different. Have we met before? Not personally, but every Alb knows of your achievements. Everyone heard of your crash. We were told you had been executed, but recently I heard rumors of someone who sounded like you. I began to suspect you were still alive. Why aren't you with your unit? It seems like we have shared similar fates. I've been cut loose from Zaykor. I can't go back. I have to find a new way to fulfill my destiny. Oh, that's cool. Are you with the Separatists? Psh, those idiots don't even know what they want. They are weak, overcome by emotion. They've abandoned the hybrid because of primitive fear and with no idea what they will do instead. Weak, stupid, emotional. While I have had to leave Zaykor, I believe in the hybrid. It is through his insight that we will survive. His powers will bring order to Zaykor. So why aren't you still a loyal soldier of Zaykor? So why aren't you still a loyal commander of Zaykor? I failed an important mission for the hybrid, so they attempted to execute me as the directive commands. I was fortunate. I fell from a cliff and they presumed I was dead. I have been trying to recover my strength and get answers since then. Then your executioner also failed. They will have to execute him when they discover that. There. That's my story. So now it's your turn. So tell me why you left Zaykor. I believe there are ways to make Albs stronger. That there are ways we can... share minds to strengthen them. The collective mind is part of the hybrid strength. Yes. But I did my own research into shared minds. I experienced what it is to be an Alb. A true Alb. But my efforts weren't appreciated. They rejected me. They drove me from Zaykor. Now, I must live in exile. It sounds like you were a loyal soldier. Yes. Look, you're an exile, I'm an exile. Here we stand, the two of us, both superior to the Albs that serve the hybrid. You and I, we should be the ones to decide our fate. And theirs. So what is your plan now? The only thing that matters right now is taking the heads of the Albs who are hunting me. Once I have them, then I can think of the future. I want them dead. And I want their heads. Cut their heads off? That should scare others off from pursuing you. You can't scare Albs. No. If I get their heads, I can read their minds to learn how they plan to capture me. And I'm sure I can get you some useful tactical information when I do. Help me, and I will share my knowledge with you, provided you help me achieve my plan. You really think you can read their minds? If you bring me their heads, yes. Find my pursuers and bring me their minds. There's no way this can work. You sound like the Albs in Zaykor. Are you still under the hybrid's control, or can you think freely now? The two of us are in the same position. We should work together. You fight for my cause, and I will bring you the heads of your pursuers. Good. Then soon I can fill myself with their minds, and we will know their plans. You should tell me where to meet if we become separated. I have a camp in some ruins west of Goliath. Very well. I'll find it. Tell me about the Albs that are hunting you. They've sent three commanders to find me. I'd be flattered if they weren't all imbeciles. The first is Bartox. He is searching the southern reaches of Zaykor, which only goes to prove he's an idiot. The second is Pollux. He trailed me through western Abessa, but I managed to throw him off. The third is Tiraz. I last saw him on the border to Ignadon. I'll send their locations to your adjutor. And I just need their heads. You can leave the rest of them to rot. Tell me more about your time in Zaykor. I served my time on patrol. 
I served the hybrid. In the evening, I mostly experimented with new preparation methods for ingesting purified Elix. They made me feel... stronger. You mean, you ate Elix? Yes, but a concentrated, focused form of Elix. It opened the hybrid's mind, why not mine? You want to be like the hybrid? Twisted? Reliant on others? No. The Albs stopped being Albs when they handed control to him. Whatever it does, the taste is sensational. And preparing it is an art. I'll complete my preparations and you can share it. Maybe it will open your mind. That was well done. I was not expecting another uh, companion there, but hey, why not? Dude, you forgot your sulfur and your healing. Potion. Well, this got weird. All right, sure, why not? I was not expecting. I for a second I thought he got pissed at me and was was like pissed that I was stealing his mug and shit. I like the fact that he just has like kind of a pile of garbage nearby. Okay, I'm going to save. I might die doing this. There's something glowing up there. I think I have to go check it out. For better or worse, might be a uh, it might be a teleporter. Because I don't have any teleporters in the area, and I really don't feel like walking back for the upteenth time. It's not nearly as dangerous as it once was, but still. Because I don't know, fast travel is kind of important. Sometimes there are games where like traveling is actually. A, uh, a key aspect to it all. And other times it's... Oh, it was probably just the top of this waterfall here. Ah, the, uh, there's a bunch of mutants over there. Yeah, it was the top of this waterfall. Butts. Well, let's see how well I, uh, equipped I am right now. Well, I do do damage to them. Okay, I'm going to stop for a second. Ha. 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 Okay. Yeah, if I can just kill one one or two of them, this gets a lot easier. Yeah, shoot for the head. It's very hard. This is a very jerky game. I seem to be doing doing fairly well though. I really need shotgun mode. I'm very glad that we've got proper keyboard and mouse controls though. The tough mutant. The other one. The other one died a little bit faster than this one. Oh, that's okay. I'm actually mildly disappointed that the mutants aren't a uh, uh, aren't a faction in this game. But then again, the mutants. Oh, I did take a hit there. I'm a little bit disappointed the mutants aren't a uh, joinable faction as well. Really got to get my gun going. Now, let's just eat some meat. Hopefully these guys have a campfire I can use. Oh yeah, go figure I ran out of ammo. The uh, the whole last episode was me just fighting that one dude. I was wondering why uh, why my, my ammo counts had, had dropped so drastically between episodes. I really need to go get some. I was just hoping I could get a teleporter so I could buy that ammo. Uh, 
It also really does not seem like the headshots are really making that much of a difference here. They're not worth the, uh, the accuracy drop. There we go. This'll speed things up a little bit. Yeah, it felt does do more damage I than I do with this bow. Someday. But then again, I think that bow is completely unupgraded. Uh, so there's not really a whole lot of reason I should mess with it. I know there are weapon enchantments you can get if you go down the berserker path. But I'm not sure. Oh, dead berserker, kind of looks like me. Let's see, there's a bed, fine dining plate. I guess I should actually probably get the fine dining plate. Yeah, more Berserkers. So the mutants just kind of took over a, uh, a Berserker house. I'm pretty much just going to want to loot this whole room. Anything else? Raw meat? Sit on the bench? No. Anything else back here? Another dead Berserker. Well, I'm getting all sorts of useful goodies. Some of which is probably completely useless. Luckily, I don't have to worry about uh, carrying capacity at all in this game. I can just point myself in a direction. No, I don't. I don't want to sleep. I want to keep looting. At least for a little bit longer. Still, don't really want to sleep. I mean, I do in real life. I could actually use a nap. I'm quite tired. But yeah, I don't see a single teleporter out here. Unless that w that's one, like, way off in the distance. Yes, people have been claiming that if you look at nighttime, it's a lot easier to find them, but I am b finding that decidedly, uh, maybe not false. But I'm not entirely sure if I agree with it. Oh, hi. Okay, let's wait for my stamina to come back. I really wish I could do, like, drop attacks. That'd be nice. Just drop down on an enemy and, uh, plonk him. Over there. Because I would totally use my jetpack to get some height just to be able to, um... Over there. Thanks, Falk. There we go. Yeah, I, I would totally, like, use my jetpack to get above my enemies. And, um... Uh, and, like, fly around and then drop down on them with, like, a hammer smash. That'd be cool. Unfortunately, that's not this game. That is very much not this game. Let's keep looking around. I'm going to keep checking out, like, hills and stuff. Blood Claw. Uh-oh. Last time I fought or saw these things, it kind of went bad. It's going for me. But Falk... Falk is hitting it. I need a better bow. I know there's like a really good bow out there, but I don't think I have the ability to get it yet. Really, I just want to find that teleporter so I can so I can uh, come to and from this area. Oh well, we're almost done. And honestly, I do enough damage that I'm not um, impotent. Well, I don't know. Impotent <laughs> has some alternate connotations that uh, aren't exactly accurate. Maybe they are, I don't know, I've never had a kid. <laughs> uh let's see, I don't I don't see a teleporter around here. There's like a campfire looking thing down here. And then I guess after that, we're gonna go check out the domed city for better or worse. Ow. I thought I didn't think I was falling, but guess it's impossible to say. 
So there's a troll there next to the campfire. So I think I'm gonna give that a hard pass. Anything over here? Well, this is kind of pretty, whatever the heck it is. I love bioluminescence, it's really cool. There might be a teleporter over there. There's also a mass rat. Yeah, so they really do just treat archery like like a gun in this game. You don't have to worry about arcing your shots at all. That is weird. I'm not used to it. Okay, yeah, let's go down this road for a second. Actually, before we do that, let's loot this camp. I like to imagine that people are just out on a pee break and Jax just goes by and opens it up. No. There we go. Too easy. I don't even know how many lockpicks I still have. Oh, that's okay. Here we got something that's decidedly blue. On the Oh, these are just these are just tunnels. Dead farm workers. Doesn't look like this is really where I'm looking for. I really want those teleporters, but I, I don't see them anywhere. Well, we found Hubert, whoever Hubert is. And it looks like this, this place is probably significant. It probably has to do with that farm that we saw earlier. Uh... I don't think it knows I exist, but I also cannot tell if I'm hurting it. Okay, we are hurting it very slowly. Very slowly. Well, as long as it doesn't cut my direction, we'll take it out. I don't know. I guess I just wish all enemies sometimes in games were, like, just had reasonable amounts of HP. So everything is killable, it's just, um... You know, some are more challenging than others. Uh, I was getting a lot of flack early on in the series for kind of comparing, comparing it to Dark Souls, but like ultimately it has a lot of the same base mechanics. It's just the uh, the way that they're expressed is different. You know, the stamina system, the uh, high semi-high stakes combat, hard enemies with, you know, supposedly de defined patterns and so on and so forth. Um, but one thing I've always appreciated about Dark Souls is, like, you can actually go through that entire game without leveling up once. Uh, and you can't do that in this one. And I actually, like, really wish that this... that more RPGs kind of did that. You know, instead of having just the arbitrary, arbitrary skull enemies. It's just like, no, like, you're weak as shit, but if you really know what you're doing, you can fight them. Or in this case, if the AI breaks and you just have enough arrows, you can just plonk them down until they're not a challenge anymore. I, that That is, that is, I guess, a, a way of doing it, too. So, Duras one-shots things, Falk destroys their AI. Yeah, so it gets creepier in there. I think I'm going to give that a hard pass as well. We're really not here to check out these tunnels right now. I just had seen a blue glow and I was like, oh, hey, maybe there's a teleporter at the end of the tunnel. But the answer is nope. Oh, you know what, though? What I am here for... I've got this, so I can actually make some stuff. So I can make Applejack, 
cooling cooling bread soup. We don't have any bread though. These are just recipes I've learned. Steak dish, which is straight up better in every way. Warming soup. And wood lice meat dish. Let's make as many steak dishes as I possibly can. And I'm out of cultivator loaves. Loaves, I'll have to buy more. Yeah, I guess I might as well make the Applejack while I'm here. Okay, cool. Well, now we've got some food, and who the heck are these guys? Oh, it's that traitor! That I met on the way a Hello, long time ago. Stranger. I have the best goods that you... Okay, don't really care what you have to say, but I do care about what you have to sell. So, hunter armor is no good. Cultivator loaf. Apple. I'm gonna buy all of his food. Cheaper than buying healing potions. And heals better. Let's see, do you have ammo, though? Instructions on how to make a ring of power. I think I already have that. I do not have gland soup, though. Okay, and then can I sell anything to him? I was doing some some item management between episodes. And so I'm like... I don't exactly remember. So I think we want to hold on to the wings and some of those. Stuff like claws, though. I probably can sell whole bunches of. And like teeth. Because I think I needed wings for some kind of crafting component. Alright, well that's good enough. He didn't have any ammo on him, which sucked though. But yeah, I'm at the very least a wealthy dude. So I can go off and buy, what, 3,000... 3,000 rounds from my gun? That'll be worth it. Over there. I'm not very good at leading my shots. Sometimes I am, but usually it's with uh, hit scan guns. Well. I'm attacking. There we go. The merchant came to help me fight against that thing. Sure. Okay. Anything interesting over here, or is this just there is boring? A lot to learn here. I don't hate him, but I think I will find him obnoxious before this game is done. What do we got over here? Still no teleporter. Just this, like, kind of odd-looking camp. There's a cave bird. Well, no one's rushing to defend this place, so... I guess it's mine now. I mean, I could have killed the owner. Okay, so there's a short message item that we should check out. Okay, one, two, three, no. four. No. One, two, three, four, no. probably five. Nope. One, two, three, four, five. Then all the way down. Too easy. Yeah, I actually really do like the lock lock picking in this game. It just when you first try it, it makes it makes sense, uh, but it feels maybe broken. I don't know how to describe it, but I was I was not a fan starting that. See nothing in the backpack. All right, well let's see what the short message says. I just heard those creatures again. I'll go out and take care of those vermin myself. If you come back in the meantime and look for me, you'll find me at the collapsed tunnel. I will lay. The rest of our mines on the road there. That should take care of the beasts. Be back soon. So he was he was the guy that we just uh, killed. 
Or, well, not killed. The guy that had been killed that we found dead in that tunnel. Got a campfire up there. Still no teleporters, though. I was really really hoping we'd find one. Well, at some point I'll be able to upgrade, uh, afford that upgrade. And it'll be fantastic. I apologize we're running around at, at, at night time for all of this. Whoa, hi. Thank you, camera angles. Oh, that's okay. Let me see. You know what? Actually, I should be able to get up here. Any Anything? There's another campfire, so I might as well go take a look at that. And then assuming there's nothing really of any import up here. Correction? Who the heck are you? You once possessed great Elix abilities, didn't you? You're probably a soldier from Zaykor. Possibly even a commander. But you are now free from Elix. And from the orders that come from the heart of Zaykor. Have you come here to die like the clerics that I just killed? Or are you here to trade? I'm not here to fight you. Good. That would benefit neither of us. I have traveled alone since I left Zaykor. And I wish to remain so. Still... If you have information to give me, that would be useful. Information and shards are what an alb needs to survive in the lands of the free people. Not that either of those things help these clerics keep their lives. Tell me about the fight with the clerics. They're fanatics. They attacked me without question. I was left with no choice but to kill them. Well, I killed two. There are two others nearby who are prolonging their lives by hiding. It's good you aren't one of them. The dangers that we Separatists face are increasing every day, and the followers of Kalan offer us nothing but threats. But I have business to conclude before we speak. It seems there are two followers of Kalan nearby who are anxious to see their god in person, and I must send them on their way. Quickly, decide. Will you stand with me in battle? Okay. Uh, seeing as I'm going to be joining the clerics, and honestly, I just don't like this guy, I'm just going to say this is none of my business. This is none of my business. You disappoint me. For if you don't stand with me, that must mean you are my enemy. I don't like this guy. He has a cool looking hammer, though. Oh, hey, we got friends. Okay. So I've saved. Oops. He doesn't have that much HP, though, which is good. Falk. Oh, well, there it goes. Alright, well, that is easy. Sort of. And got it. Uh, we have a cleric here. He ran. That dog really believed he could get away from us. Separatist or Alb, they're all impure. And he paid the price with blood. We're leaving this position as soon as the troop commander gives the signal. If you need something from him, you should speak to him now. Who's the troop commander? Now the Alb is dead. Kalan's will has been carried out. Here, a symbol of his mercy. Now, it is time to take the fight to Zekor. May Kalan guide your path in safety until the Albs are defeated. Huh. A lot of dead clerics here. And a lot of random junk. It looks like betraying Radok was the thing to do, though. 